Hello, I'm Vicki Warren, the Program Director for the International Institute for Bob Biology and Ecology, or IBE. The phrase Bob Biology and Ecology was coined by the German scientist Dr. Hubert Palm and par primarily refers to the holistic method of looking at buildings, homes, and offices with a primary focus on how it affects the occupants. It is more than just how people feel within the building, but how the body functions. It looks beyond the symptoms to the body's mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. For the last 25 years in Germany, Bob biologists who are architects, engineers, builders, and doctors have joined forces to investigate what these sources are, how to detect them, what problems they cause, and most importantly, what can be done to eliminate or to reduce the exposure. Their focus has always been, first, identify the sources. Secondly, to reduce, avoid, or eliminate. The purpose or the approach has been applying the precautionary principle. If a possibility exists that a source causes a problem, then something should be done about it. Wolfgang Makes, one of the founders of Bob Biology, describes it this way. He said, if I hit my thumb with a hammer, and my thumb turns blue, and it hurts, and it swells, then I know I shouldn't hit my thumb with a hammer again. I don't need to wait on the doctors and the scientists to tell me that's bad for me. I should already know this. In 1987, this German research was translated into English and brought to the United States, and the Institute of Biology and Ecology was formed, with the mission of educating individuals about building practices and products and their effects on the human occupants. Now, how bad is it? According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the indoor environment is one of the top five health risks that we Americans face today. The reason for this is primarily for three different reasons. Reason number one, we spend over 90% of our times indoors. Between our homes, our cars, our schools, and our offices, we spend most of our time in an enclosed indoor environment. The second reason, because of the energy crisis and the need to protect our Earth's natural resources, we've sealed off all of our buildings so that we've trapped in the indoor air and excluded the outdoor air. And the third reason is that we've brought in toxins into our indoor environment. We brought toxins in the way of our household chemicals, in our building materials, our electronics and our electrical appliances. So you combine these three together and we now spend all of our time in a sealed, toxic environment. Modern building practices have actually led to building failure. With our team of experts at IBE, our architects, our engineers, our builders, our scientists, and our environmentalists, we want to provide you with the resources to begin your quest to improve your indoor environment. We want to go beyond green. We want to bring together the design methods and technologies to create healthy homes and workplaces. Through a series of short videos and questions and answers, we hope to provide you with the information that you need to make these informed choices. These choices are often easy and economical. In fact, many times they're free, though it might require an alteration in your lifestyle. Our goal is for you to look at building practices and products from the, how they make you feel, from the perspective of the occupants, are they healthy for you? Are they biologically compatible? If they're biologically compatible, then they'll also be ecologically sound. We look at the indoor air. We look at building methods and building materials. We also will look at electromagnetic radiation. Join us as we change our perspective of our indoor environment, where we look at the environment as our third skin, something we interact with on a daily basis, just as where our first skin is our biological skin, our second skin is our clothing, our third skin is our buildings, and they're just as much a part of our life as our clothes are. We want to seek a home or office that nurtures the body, yet while protecting it. A place where the body can relax and rejuvenate, where the underlying principle is one of balance. Imagine that your home was like you sitting in a forest and listening to the sounds of a babbling brook. A biological and ecological environment. So join us as you learn how to make informed choices. Thank you.